Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Michael Abudutsezi here today in Studio A3 at the Media Center for TotalSchoolSuccess.com and again answering a couple of questions that people send in. The question I have today is a good question, is I see a lot of referral made to CBT therapy. What is CBT therapy? That's a very good question. CBT is an abbreviation for Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. There's a long history behind cognitive behavioral therapy, but basically it is a different kind of therapy invented by behavioral therapists, which is different from the standard therapy at the time, which was used by psychoanalysts and psychoanalytically oriented psychotherapists, which is a different type of talking therapy. So cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, is a problem-solving therapy that follows a precise sequence of interventions that helps people overcome difficulties with such conditions such as anxiety, depression, panic disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, problems with a person's relationship with others, and sometimes the problems that are involved with a person's relationship with themselves, which is really called intrapersonal, as opposed to relationship issues with others, which is referred to as interpersonal. So cognitive behavioral therapy is a type of talking psychotherapy that focuses on solving problems. And as that indicates, problems in therapy, problems in psychological functioning are basically seen by CBT therapists as problems to be solved and difficulties to be overcome. Other kinds of talking therapy, other kinds of interests that therapists have seem to view interpersonal difficulties or intrapersonal difficulties not so much as problems to be overcome, but rather more deeply set issues that have to be understood and resolved or ameliorated. CBT is pretty straightforward. It takes about six or eight sessions and then there's some practice sessions involved. So a standard CBT therapy for, let's say, depression could be 12 to 16 sessions, and that involves homework, and involves reinforcement, and, and also involves practice in the sessions with the therapist. It's about the same protocol, 12 to 16 weeks for an anxiety or a panic disorder, though there are some so-called power therapies in CBT, such as EMDR, and that's an abbreviation for eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, which is very helpful, very successful for some anxiety conditions known as post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. And this is used a lot for people who specialize in treating PTSD and also in some clinics such as some VA hospitals or outpatient centers as well. So in a nutshell, there you have the difference between CBT and other therapies. What is CBT? CBT is an abbreviation for Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, a very powerful problem-solving therapeutic intervention that licensed clinical psychologists use to treat such conditions as post-traumatic stress disorder, other anxiety disorders, and depression. So a good question, what is CBT? And there you have the answer.